A group of us decided a while ago that any day spent in hospital that doesn't benefit a patient is, is a day too many. And we decided to do whatever we could to, to change that really. Um, we knew that we couldn't do it in isolation and so we've worked with over 60 different organisations in health and social care across North Derbyshire to try and improve things. The idea is to try and turn weeks into days, days into hours and hours into minutes so everything that needs to happen to help a patient on their journey home happens as quickly as possible. And the whole underpinning principle is this idea of doing what's best for the patient in a way that enables them to, to reach home as quickly as we can. So peak flow one is something that we're doing over, over eight days. And the reason we chose eight days is, is we knew that some of the things that we're trying to do aren't possible to, to roll out immediately. But actually, some of the things that we've learned this week are just about different ways of talking to people, different ways of identifying problems, different ways of getting things done. And some of that learning is going to come out straight away, so we're going to be benefiting from, from now onwards, basically. Um, one of the questions that came out in one of our get-togethers just this week was, when can we do peak flow two, which is a really encouraging thing. So that's a sign that people are really behind this project and want to take it forward. It's been an incredibly exciting time, actually. I think, um, for me, the most exciting thing has been the buzz that's been, uh, been generated around the hospital. So you go to any part of the, the hospital and people are talking about it. People are, are, are chatting. There's really this excitement about um, almost teams trying to do the very best they can. Uh, there's almost a sense of competition between wards. Some of the stories that have come back about uh, exceptional things that, that have happened in order to to get somebody home that, that we know that wouldn't have been possible in a normal week has, has been terrific. And in one particular situation, a patient couldn't get home without keys to their house. The only person who had keys to the house was their brother and nobody had any contact details for the brother. So actually what uh, one of the ward liaison officers did was um, they found out that the brother worked in a charity shop somewhere in Chesterfield and they went on the internet searching for telephone numbers for charity shops and worked down the list until they found the brother and so the brother came in and were able to get the keys and that person was able to get home much sooner than they would have done otherwise and I think that one story encapsulates exactly what's different about peak flow one it's the sort of thing that would never would have happened in a normal week um, it's the sort of thing though that I hope will continue to happen every week um, because we know we can do it we know we can make those sort of differences and actually it's the patient that benefits from that mm -hmm.